I got in trouble for seeing this movie because I was too young. It was an R-rated comedy. It's called Animal House. It's number 57 on our list, and it's an unbelievable classic comedy from John Landis. <laughs> Yeah, this is the movie that launched about a thousand other movies. Yes. I mean, I think every movie for the next 25 years would have some sort of Animal House reference yep. in it. I mean, it's legendary, the fact that this thing exists at all. I mean, there are so many stories around Hollywood about why this thing exists. I mean, it's all based on, I think, John Landis's experiences at Dartmouth. Yep. It all has this sort of ring of truth about it. There's an authenticity about the whole experience here. Yeah, it's here. preposterous, but you also feel like it could be believable. I mean, you look at a character like Belushi's Bluto, and you think, oh my, is there somebody that disgusting that exists out in the For wind? For sure there is. And when you look at the hazing stuff that's happening in colleges around America right now, or in Canada, anywhere. Right now, it's been going on forever. Yeah, I would have to think that some of the blame probably you could point in this direction, but it probably was existing forever, no, this kind of you, silliness. you know, and you're totally right. I think in some ways this movie is a blessing and a curse yep. because I think everybody of a certain generation went to college yes. thinking, I have to have an Animal House type experience once right. I get there. Right. I get... <laughs> Sorry. You know, and even recently I just watched Judd Apatow's Undeclared. Yep. And prominently displayed on one of the walls in the dorm room yeah, is, a, is a big poster of Bluto sure. with the word college across his chest. I mean, this movie to this day continues to have a legacy almost unlike any other movie on this list. Totally. I mean, Old School was a fun movie, but it was nothing compared to Animal House. No, and Monsters U, which we just reviewed not too long ago, was a joke compared to him. Don't ever mention Monsters U and Animal House in the same breath again. You know, they all have to borrow from Animal House. It was the penultimate. It's the archetype for how you make a college comedy. It was a little raunchy. There's some boobies in this thing. They do a panty raid, and it's a big sexual sort of coming-of-age deal. It's kind for, of tame by now. It is By now. today's standards. But We've gone then. so much further since yeah, then. And this came out in the sort of meatballs, Caddyshack kind of era as well. I was a teenager when this stuff was coming out, so it was bees to honey, this kind of stuff. I love that you mentioned that you got in trouble for seeing it yep. because it did have a forbidden quality. I was alive in 1978. I yep. remember hearing about this movie. I remember hearing about neighbors and friends who had seen this movie. Yep. There was an attraction. I was drawn to it. I was way too young to see it. I wouldn't see this thing for years. I didn't shave when I was a young kid. Nice, nice I actually looked older than I do now. Yeah. Thank you, God! You know, this movie also gave rise to a lot of far lesser entertainments. Yeah. Like the Porky series, yes. which also had that forbidden Canada's quality. Canada's biggest hit, by the way. But it didn't have any of the heart or the soul. No. And, and those are two things that Animal House has in Spain. Well, it also has a cast of thousands. I mean, there's fantastic actors in this yes. thing that people forget about. Karen Allen, who I think is still one of the most underappreciated women in movies ever. Is this really what you're going to do for the rest of your life? Well, what do you mean? I mean, hanging around with a bunch of animals, getting drunk every weekend. After I graduate, I'm gonna get drunk every night. Peter Riegert's fantastic. I, Tim Matheson I still is fantastic. I remember uh, Donald Sutherland reaching up with his, yes. with his sweater on. And, and Bare ass. It's the first time I'd seen a man's ass in my life. <laughs> Belushi's in there just chewing up scenery all over the damn place. And I think that's also part of the reason why we revere Animal House so much yeah. is because we've all mourned the passing Yeah, of we don't have a lot to watch no. that he was in, and this was one of the ones that made him a star, right? Right, Bluto. Kevin Bacon's got a great part in this movie. Yeah. That whole musical sequence where the band's playing Shout and everybody's dancing and groove, it was just, it was filled with passion and heart and humor and well, the, the, the sound craziness. The soundtrack is, awesome is well. seminal. And, yeah. and I remember it was one of the first cassette tapes I ever owned was the Animal House yeah. soundtrack. And if you think I went to college without it, you're crazy. Yeah. I had it with me. And that whole death mobile sequence at the end of the yeah, thing. So and over the, the top. The parade that just goes crashing down around everybody. It's hilarious. Terrific stuff. I hate those guys. It is obnoxious and it's a little crazy. Maybe tame by today's standards. But and man. it does have some unfortunate racist oh, overtones yeah, sure. absolutely. that are really hard to stomach. Yep. They were hard to stomach then, they're even harder to stomach. You're now. absolutely correct, yeah. I mean, sometimes this comedy stuff doesn't really age all that well, but Animal House set the bar and set the bar very high, and that's why it's at number 57.